Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a new preview copy of Donut Shop. It's one of the three games being offered by 25th Century Games during their Kickstarter campaign coming soon. So first, this is a tile laying game about patterns and more specifically patterns of donut types that are on display until they become boxed up and sold to customers. So now that you're hungry for donuts, let me explain how to play this game. The game begins like this. Each player will start with one random donut tile, one random order card, and a 20 cent donut box tile. This is the donut tile display. Two tiles are out face up at all times while the back is loaded up with the remaining tiles. This is the order card display which mimics a napkin dispenser. There are also two face up order cards out at all times. There are different sized donut boxes that will be used to place on top of the donut tiles to box them up. And this is the starting donut tile to get the game going. So on your turn, you will add your donut tile to the display case. And when adding your tile, you want to try to place it so that one type of donut is on the play tile matches a large group of the same colored donut because you will gain money in that way. But when placing your tile, you will need to be placing it so that the entire side of one of its side is completely flush with another tile. So you can't place your tile like this. These donut tiles also cannot be placed on top of each other. But really, you can place a tile wherever you'd like, and they do not need to match a donut on the neighboring edge if you don't want it to, but you can earn more money if it does. After placing your tile, you will score and collect money for its placement. You will choose one type of donut from the tile that you placed and score five cents for each donut of the same type on your tile plus for any donut of the same type that is orthogonally adjacent in a connected group, however big that is. Later on, you will see how to box donuts, but when donuts are boxed and have a box tile on top of them, they will not score for this placement scoring any longer. And it's also possible to create two different orthogonally adjacent groups of the same type of donut. And if so, and if you do this, then you will score both of those groups. After gathering your money from your placement, you can then optionally box donuts to gain more money. You will need to discard order cards that match the donut types that you want to box. All donuts in the box need to match one of the types of donuts from your order cards. And you will then discard your order cards, place the biggest box tile that you can over those donuts, and collect the money shown on the box tile. Now, some order cards also list different bonuses that will earn you more money, such as boxing donuts with sprinkles on them or using two or three order cards with coffee to gain the listed amount of money. Also, when donut holes are shown on a donut tile, it counts as a wild for any color, both for placement and for boxing. And this tile can be used for a certain donut color for placement and then a different donut type for boxing. And it can be used over and over again when creating your orthogonally adjacent groups as it switches to any color when it's used. So you will want to use the biggest box to gain the most money when boxing donuts, but it also is a little harder to do this as you will need to most likely have more and more order cards of different types to be able to place bigger box tiles on the board. Everyone also has the small box to use whenever they want next to them, and all other sizes are available to anyone until they are used up and gone. Large group of donuts will be made as the game progresses, but then they will be boxed up and smaller groups will be formed until you grow them out again and then box them up again. The last part of a turn is to draw a new donut tile and a new order card. Now, you can either take one of the face-up order cards and then draw a random donut tile from the face-down stack, so it's a random donut tile, or you can draw one of the two face-up donut tiles knowing that you, what you're going to get, but then drawing a random order card from the napkin dispenser. Then the face-up tiles or cards are filled in so that there are two of each for the next player. Now you have a new tile, a new order card, and while other players continue to play on their turns going in a clockwise direction, you can think of what you want to do on your next turn. This will continue in a clockwise direction where, again, players will play a donut tile, gain the placement money, optionally use order cards to add box tiles to box up donuts, and then again refill with a new donut tile and a new order card. Players continue doing this until there are no more donut tiles or order cards left in the draw stacks. 
Then each player takes one more turn without drawing a new card or a new tile at the end of their turn. And then the player with the most money at the end of the game wins. And, well, that's Donut Shop. It's a great tile laying game that is fast to learn. The strategy is dependent on what tiles are out and where they are at. And the art is pretty amazing. Honestly, the first thing that gave me interest in this game was this box art right here. And I'm not sure if you have seen James Churchill's um, art, but I'm a huge fan of what he does. The box art just makes it look so real. I mean, look at this. Then, who doesn't like donuts? I mean, my kids wanted to start playing this game right when we opened the box to find this prototype here. But after loving on the art and what you think the game provides, then you play the game and can see the two big things that weigh against each other in the gameplay, which are picking the donut tiles that you want so that you can gain money from placement versus choosing a specific order card so that you can box up donuts to gain more money. And you're going to be doing both of these things, but the focus will change depending on what's available. And really, that's what I like about the game most of all. And not one of those is always better as it will change depending on the game status and what's out there for that moment. For example, the first time we played this game, my son kept on picking tiles that had blue donuts on them. And there was a huge group of blue donuts forming and he was making a lot of money when he was just placing blue donuts to make that group bigger. At the time, no order cards with a blue donut had appeared from the deck, and so no one could close up any of them and box them up um, to place a tile to end the group. And it just kept on growing and growing. And I mean, I guess I started getting donut tiles with blue donuts on them to play and gain you know, money according to his strategy. But I wanted to box up some donuts, and I slowly did that. But some turns he made more money than I did and other turns I made more money than he did and the game isn't a sprint It's doing the best move slowly and steady so that by the end of the game you have the most money More money than everyone else at least so really there is no secret to this game It tells you what it is and it continues to do that from here on out and the patterns change and so strategy is always changing as well but Scoring is always going to be by placement of your donut tiles and then optionally boxing up donuts using your order cards to gain even more money. Now, the last thing I really appreciated and I love about the game is the donut tile racks and the napkin dispenser. That's a good touch to the game. This really helps with the theme and just gives the game some love to make it very special. And so Wake up early making donuts to sell with your family and friends in Donut Shop by 25th Century Games. Again, this is Board Game Brody and I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.